We at Tomo News have posted a ton of moronic selfie takers losing their lives in dangerous poses for virtual likes, hearts, and to find self-value in the comments of perverted men. Some are luckier and survive, but none more than this woman. A TikTok video posted on the 28th of June has left the internet shaking its head after a woman believed to be in Romania attempts to take a picture with a bear out in the wild. Of course, it goes without saying you shouldn't pester wild animals, especially when they're as murderous as bears. However, this video means said warning shall be reiterated. In the video, the woman, dressed for an episode of The Gladiators, holds something in her hand as she approaches the brown bear, minding its own, sat on the side of the road. Mockingly, those recording the blue leotard from the safety of their car can be heard saying, I have to film it. Look how she's holding her hand, stupid girl. However, her futile attempts at trying to seduce the bear into becoming insta-famous take a turn for the worst as the bear lunges, leaving her sprinting for her life. Unfortunately, the bear decides to stop, leaving those filming gasp at the close call, saying, Can you see how stupid she is? Go get in the car. All that risk for a picture with a bear? Did I just say unfortunately? <laughs> The location of the incident is so far unclear, which is good news because you know all those so called influencers would otherwise flock to the scene. Unsurprisingly, the Romanian authorities have issued repeated warnings for drivers not to treat bears on the roadside as pets, with Costel Alexi, the Minister of the Environment, recently saying, the bear is a wild animal protected by law, not a pet. And as if reading the last line from a storybook, he added, I say once again to the citizens of this country, a bear which has tasted biscuits, wafers, and feels that he can get food in this way, will never be able to adapt to the forest again. A Chinese university student met her untimely end while taking a selfie from one of China's most famous mountains. The paper reports that at the end of October, university student Xiao Deng went up China's Huashan Mountain in Shangxi, best known for its steep cliffs and deadly pee-your-pants plank trails. The 21-year-old had been taking selfies all the way up the mountain and sharing it with classmates in a WeChat group before suddenly going radio silent. Her university in Hunan went to the cops a day later and told her family she was missing. Police checked the surveillance at Huashan and saw that Deng had been taking a selfie on an observation deck on the western part of the mountain. While framing the shot, she made a misstep that caused her to fall back past the 60-centimeter chain fence and off the edge of the cliff to her death. The management at Huashan National Park said it wasn't responsible for the incident, since Deng was an adult who ignored safety warnings. Still, it said it would give the family humanitarian aid to the tune of 40,000 yuan, or 5,700 US dollars. The girl's mom, though, thinks management is fully to blame because of the low fence. Sure, Huashan needs to step up its guardrail game and actually have one that does its job, but actions, like ignoring warnings, do have consequences. A Chinese tourist plan to take a selfie by the rim of the Grand Canyon fell through, well, in this case, moreover. According to David Leibowitz, a spokesman for Grand Canyon West, a 12-person tour group from Hong Kong was visiting the Grand Canyon last Thursday. According to the SEMP, the group was on day two of a week-long tour of the West Coast when things started to go downhill. The real cliffhanger came when many of the tourists were taking photos way too close for comfort by the rim of the canyon. According to AZ Central, while trying to snap a selfie at Eagle Point, adjacent to the skywalk, a 50-year-old man from Macau accidentally plunged 1,000 feet over the edge. AZ Central reports that according to Leibowitz, a helicopter search later located the man's body at the bottom of the canyon. His body was transported to the closest hospital by helicopter. His name has not been released.
According to the AP, while there is no barrier at Eagle Point, signs warn people not to get too close to the edge. Maybe the guy should have gotten a selfie of that. If you want more Tomo in your life, click the subscribe and bell button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching Tomo News.